Hello there. My name is Jerry Smith, or Jerry Smith, if you're more Anglo-Saxon inclined. I'm like a innovation consultant, strategist, freelancer type of guy. But I have an unhealthy interest in blockchain. I actually wrote a book about it a few years ago, so I love that stuff. Why am I recording this video for Avado? Well, I've known Berend from Avado for a while. I've known Stefan from Avado way back. We go way back. Um, so I'm not totally neutral. But I actually wanted to say that I, I did put my money where my mouth was and I actually bought an Avada box. And I, th and I wanted to tell you just sort of the three reasons why I think I bought it. Um, reason number one is this, this, this whole decentralization thing, right? The, the, this idea of a decentralized web or a web three. I'm, I convinced and I subscribe to the vision of Avada that for this thing, this vision to work, we're going to need some kind of a decentralized hardware network. And I think Avado plugs into that quite nicely, plugs into that, no pun intended. But I think it's really useful if you're a believer in this decentralization thing or a, like me, more of an explorer and supporter to figure out where it goes kind of guy, then I think it's worth uh, running these things because you contribute to the course. You can run an Ethereum node on it or an Avalanche node or an IPFS node and, and you see how this network of hardware nodes can contribute to this grander vision. Reason number one, vision. Reason number two, incentives. Same thing, for decentralization to work, I'm convinced that we're gonna need a super strong incentive scheme on all kinds of levels. And I think that's where Avada does really well um, because they, they create these packages for applications that incentivize people to run a node. Um, Mysterium, Hopper, Swarm, Tornado Cache. There are all these apps that you can install on the Avada box and you get rewarded for sharing your bandwidth, sharing some storage, whatever sits in that little box there. Um, but it's the principle behind it. So, so if you're a hardcore believer, again, hey, I can make some money with that. Fair enough, very good reason. See how you could make the, the money back on the investment. But also as a sort of an explorer, more on a conceptual level, how do these incentive schemes actually work? And do they actually contribute to or well enough to, to the decentralization course? So that, that's sort of number two. Number one was vision. Number two was incentives. And number three, and I guess that sort of combines it to it's, it's I quite like doing stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful and I'm optimistic about this decentralization vision, but I'm also realistic enough to see that a lot needs to be done. And I think the Avado box is a really simple way to start doing that, to start doing stuff, to start contributing, to start testing, to see what works, what doesn't work in this grand revision. It's bloody easy to install. Uh, it's literally plug and play pretty much. Um, it's not like running a Raspberry Pi and having to code. I mean, I can't code, command line, no go zone for me. Avado, well, it doesn't need that kind of stuff. So it's a really good way. It's, a, it's got a good support system. It's got a graphical interface, which, you know, they're constantly tweaking and making it better, but it's for, for, a, for a newbie, a non-techie like me, it's pretty accessible to start actually running a node, running these applications, see how it adds value to the, to the community, see how it adds value to you by, you know, getting some rewards. And I think this combination of these three things is why I actually shelled out a bit of money to run my own Nevada box. For what it's worth, those were my three reasons.